Welcome, this is the Delta Maps solution tutorial on visualizing domain and range. Here this question asks us to determine the domain of the following graph. Here we have the graph on paint to work with it. Please remember that when we look at the domain, we are looking at it from the direction of the X axis. And from the X axis, we look from left all the way to your right. So from here, let's just take a look. We are starting from our left, which is right here. And we are looking at the X axis. So this value is negative 5. Okay. Then you go all the way here as you move left, all the way to the right, and you stop here, which is at where the dot is here, is 11. So this means it's open because it's a circle, and here it's closed. So your interval for the domain would be from 5, 11. It is open, so it's a parentheses. It's closed on 11, so it's a bracket. So that's how the answer should look like. So open at, at negative 5, comma, 11, and close it at the bracket. There you go. Let's do one more. Next, it asks us to find the range of the following graph. Range is defined as when we are looking at the y-axis, or your output. And when we look at the y-axis, we start from down, and we look all the way up. Okay? So, put your head here and start down. Okay? What is the first lowest number that you ever got? So, if you take a look, it would be negative 7. That is the smallest number that you have on the y-axis. So it's negative 7. Then you go up. A lot of students will stop here. No, you don't stop here. You keep going. Okay, you keep going, you keep going. Oh, it's up here. That's the highest. So this is the highest, which is 6. Okay. So this was the lowest range. And this is the highest Notice, you can't pick any other number down here. You can't pick negative 8. You can't pick negative 9. The lowest you can ever pick is negative 7 because right here, do you see how this is negative 7? Then you can go up. You don't stop at negative 5. You can keep going. The highest value you could ever get here is negative, is the positive 6 value here. Okay? It touches it, so you can say it's closed at negative 7, and it is closed at 6 because it both touches it so it should be bracket negative 7 comma bracket 6 that's how it should look like all right so it should be bracket negative 7 comma 6 bracket as well submit the answer there we go from the lowest value when you look down all the way to your highest value when you look up. That is how you find the domain and range.